up, it is Stella. I am so sorry for the long wait between videos. I have been eh, super busy lately, but today I have time for you, and in this video, we're going to be talking about stuff. My stuff I need. Christmas has just passed and so has my birthday and kids have been asking me what'd you get for Christmas? What'd you get? What'd you get? Did you like it? Did you get it? Did you want it? Did you get that? Did you want that? Did you want that? What'd you get? What'd you get? Look, how much stuff do we really need here? Huh, I don't know. Maybe none of it. Look, I picked out some of my most prized possessions because it might not be shiny, new, or expensive but they mean so much to me and I would love to share them with you guys. All right, prize positions, number one. So, this is a little jewelry box my grandmother gave me. Well, she passed away six years ago, um, but she gave this to my mom, and then my mom gave this to me. I just love it so much. I can't wait to put things in it because I don't have anything in it now, and when I do put something in it, it's gonna be very special. But I just love it so much because it is cute, and it is very special. This is a picture of my grandmother and me. When I was little, we were dressing up and having a great time. Number three. So these are cute little turtles. And turtles are my favorite animals. For my birthday party, I had a turtle fan party. And not too long ago, I got this and this. They were handmade wooden turtles. I got it from a little stand downtown where I live. And they're just very cute. <clears throat> it's real wood, hand carved, hand made. Number four. I'm very excited about this one. So, this is Sandy. This is a dried up real starfish. I went, when my mom and stepdad got married, we went to Destin, Destin, Florida. And there was this cute little stand where this guy um, decorated starfish. And I got the, he decorated mine the way I wanted it. He put pink sunglasses, a cute little flower, a tennis racket, there were a couple tennis balls but they fell off, a skirt, and a chain necklace. It is a ornament, if you can't tell, and it came with a little book hero. This is called The Adventures of the Starfish Family, and here are a bunch of tiny little starfish that he made. And it's autographed to me that says, to Stella, enjoy this and enjoy the adventure. And it's just an adorable little book. Number five. Now, I know this is a Beanie Boo, and I showed you guys this in my first video, but this is my first Beanie Boo. Her name is Glamour, and she just means so much to me. She's old, she's, you know, her tag has faded, but she's still soft, and I love her so much. Okay, this one, I don't have a name for him, but it is a panda I've had ever since I was maybe two or three. Now this is the one of the, you know, couple toys or stuffed animals that I really cared and loved. And it's pretty worn out, it has a hole in its eye. Um, we're not going to talk about that, but <laughs> I, I, I have a little diaper on it, a bib, and a little oh, mitt. I guess he doesn't want to chew his fingernails, but it's so cute. I just remember playing with this when I was little. Alright, last but definitely not least. I have a cute little statue of a woman holding some sunflowers that says, a sister is a forever friend. And I love this so much because my Nana gave it to me and when my brother and sister were born, I thought this was just the best gift. Now, she had wings, but I'm a wild child, so that's for another day. But I just, it's beautiful and I'm never gonna lose it. All right, those are my prized possessions. I hope you learned a little something about me. And remember, through the holiday season, it can be really easy just to pile up more and more and more stuff. But it's also really important to cherish those little moments that money could never buy. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate and wherever you are, and Happy New Year, because 2020 will be awesome, the best year ever.
Surprise what? <laughs> <laughs>